Stage 2 English Film Response Tracks, Thomas Bignall Through the 2013 film Tracks, directed by John Curran, the use of a wide range of film techniques displays the true story of Robin Davidson's 1,700-mile trek across the Western Australia deserts with her four camels and her dog to isolate herself from society. The events in which Davidson experienced are displayed through various angles combined with diegetic and non-diegetic sound, conveying the themes of loneliness, emotional distress and isolation through a calm and determined nature. Through extreme close-ups, long shots, low angles, angles, zoom and focus shots and establishing shots, Davidson's raw emotions and mental and physical challenges are expressed deeply, engaging the viewing audience through current constant visual representations of the portrayed themes of independence, chaos, determination and lack of connection with others. Scene 1. The Intrusion of Friends Through current film techniques, Davidson's free nature is distracted and invaded by the Sydney push as they visited her rubble shack prior to her trip, making them at home. Davidson's disturbed independence is portrayed strongly through ambient sound and backlighting of the hollow camera shot where her face is in focus with the people passing around alcohol bottles and cigarettes around her unaware of Davidson's unease to leave and need to leave the situation. Davidson's introverted nature and awareness of the uneasy situation of the antics of her friends intensely engages the reader with Karen displaying Davidson's expressions as the only person to be truly present within the house. Karen conveys a deep connection between the viewer and Davidson through the use of non-diegetic sound with a very upbeat guitar riff and the muted conversations between the Sydney Push members in the background as diegetic sound flowing with the close-up shots of the faces expressing their personalities as energetic and extroverted people. Karen conveys a mood change where the non-diegetic sound changes to a subtle and calming piano where the guitar riff fades out to focus and zoom in on Davidson's emotion with the background antics occurring. The bold piano notes allow the audience to understand Davidson's annoyance and irritation through the extreme close-up shots of the mouths with the strident non-diegetic sound of the Sydney Push members around her, conveying her true thoughts and need to be free from civilization and the culture which they had brought to her. Scene 2, Loneliness and Rick Smolin. Karen has visualised many themes through tracks in which Davidson is portrayed as a very isolated soul who changes only with the company she had on her travels of her dog Diggity consuming poison leaving to her having to shoot her own dog with the audience feeling her distress. The total loss of purpose for Davidson broke her and through the low angle camera shot of her rugged up crawled in a ball needing comfort and a small part of civilization. After all was lost portrays the theme of individuality and the loneliness and the need for others it can bring. The distress in which is displayed through her mystery disappearance where the media and Rick Smolin desperately look for her provides the themes of discomfort and anxiousness. The close up shot of Davidson where she makes eye contact with Smolin all wrapped up in a blanket conveys the theme of emotion which engages the audience to feel her pain and need for for another human being after becoming separated from society. This close-up shot along with the corresponding non-diegetic sounds of the piano notes and the subtle guitar strings conveys the theme of security as Davidson sees Smolin. Davidson through anger yells and emotionally breaks down at the journalists as they rush to at her where the diegetic sound of them all yelling questions at their own personal benefit leads to Davidson's discomfort where she emotionally screams, leave me alone, go away. As an audience, there is a feeling of being empathetic towards Davidson as she is in distraught and needs comfort. She is scared and mentally unstable and lost and needs her personal space as well as some form of human connection. A panning shot of the journalists line up along the road waiting for her as she talks to Smolin from a low angle shot, then focuses and zooms directly on Davidson and Smolin with the journalist blurred in the background conveys the theme of calmness and comfort with Smolin. Scene 3, The Alarm Clock and Civilization. Karen conveys the idea that Davidson is starting to mentally lose focus and that she is beginning to come slightly insane. Through the hallucinations which she was experiencing, really indicating to the viewing audience that her connection with society was beginning to vanish. The extreme long shot of Davidson running at a camel, which she imagined in the distance, portrays the theme of madness and isolation with the non-diegetic sound of the fast harp strings, intensifying the situation where she waves a stick in the air in frustration yelling go away go away yet the viewing audience do not visualize the camel only a mirage on the dry desert plain is seen the loss of civilization is a major theme which Karen conveys with davidson's alarm clock 
Through Davidson's realization that she is mentally fading, she tragically removes the final piece of civilization and society from herself through the dropping of the alarm clock on the hard desert terrain. This portrayal of the clock symbolizes her only way in civilization has kept her from being mentally lost. The clock is a reoccurring motif. When it is dropped, Karen uses diegetic sound of the clock ticking, symbolizing time slowly slipping away from Davidson as she becomes mentally challenged and absent. Through the various film techniques within the film tracks, John Curran has conveyed various themes in which the main character of Robin Davidson is challenged through her isolative and independent journey across the Western Australian deserts. The mixtures of non-diegetic and diegetic sounds, extreme close-up shots, long shots, establishing shots, focus and zoom shots and low angles convey themes of independence, chaos, determination and lack of connection with others. Curran has expressed Davidson's personality to the viewing audience, engaging them specifically through the close-up angle shots in which her pure emotions are portrayed.